Hi, I'm Chef Deborah, and welcome back to my kitchen. Please visit us on our Facebook or Instagram page and on our website at rocusbakery.com where you'll find all sorts of goodies that you can order online and we ship nationwide. You can also click on our TV tab and watch season one of our 13 shows and soon to be season two of our 12 shows. So on this uh, episode, we are going to finish up our chocolate dessert board. Uh, in our last episode, we made our chocolate amaretti cookies and I'm gonna get those out of the oven and cool them while I'm putting the rest of our boards together. We're gonna go ahead and finish assembling our boards. As you can see, I've got several different platters and boards here. Um, you know, this is a creation of yours. This, are, this is just some of what you could do. This is by no means uh, the end all of, of chocolate boards and, and dessert boards, but uh, it gives you an idea of the variety of things that you can use. So if you have cake plates like I do, I've got lots of cake plates in our bakery kitchen, different shapes, different colors. I've got different platters, a lot from Italy, some with roses and flowers. Um, we've got our wood boards, which is really a charcuterie board, but I'm using it today for our fruit. So I'd love to have fresh fruit with chocolate, with chocolate desserts, because it adds an element of freshness and sweetness uh, that is natural of the fruit. So to kind of balance the, the acidic sweetness of the chocolate. Um, so as you can see, I've grilled some pineapple spears and it's easy to do if, if you don't want to take it to the actual grill, if you have like a stovetop grill pan, you know, with grates on it. That's what I did today. And you don't have to brush them with anything, just slice them in spears or whatever shape you want to slice it in or put it in. Because you can use cookie cutters also to cut out the pineapple and have star shapes or flower shapes if you want. But try to keep things finger food size so that when your guests are coming with a plate and they're going down the dessert line, they can pick up uh, with a fork or a little tong, you know, bite-sized pieces of whatever they want to choose. So you don't want to have great big pieces where you have to have very large plates on your dessert. This is a dessert board. It's not a full meal board. Uh, they can always come back for seconds. So as you can see here, I've paired some fruits, the kiwi, some orange segments, the grilled pineapple, some fresh strawberries and Rice Krispie bars with caramel sauce. Uh, we've got marshmallow sauce here and we've got chocolate sauce here. So if they want to dip, uh, take some uh, dip, put a little scoop in, in the sauces and put some on their plate or dip their cookie in it or their pineapple in it, you know, that's what's beautiful about this board. They can kind of create their own dessert palette on their plate. So we've got uh, some vanilla madeleine cookies. We've got our chocolate bowls that we've made. We're gonna fill with a white chocolate mousse. And we've got our little hazelnut cookies. And some of these items you, you see in your grocery store. So I wanted to include things that you buy if you don't wanna bake, that there are things that are readily available in your grocery store cookie aisle, or even maybe in your grocery store bakery aisle, or a local bakery that you might have that you can include on your dessert board if you don't want to do a lot of baking. So we do have our chocolate salami we're going to cut. We also have a chocolate wafer. This is like a bittersweet chocolate wafer you can buy in the store. Um, these I use these to make our chocolate graham cracker or our chocolate crust for our cheesecakes. We grind them up with a little bit of um, sugar in our food processor. But these are great little cookies. Uh, dip them in some caramel put an orange segment on it or whatever they want to do. And it's really a nice little cookie. So I've got a, a tip in here. We're just going to fill them. Now you can, you can fill them with whatever flavor you want. You can do a hazelnut mousse if you want. You don't necessarily want to have all the same color. You don't, you can, you can obviously have, you can do a chocolate mousse if you want to um, and alternate the chocolate mousses. Um, but this is a kind of a nice little, um, a nice little dessert board here and of course we have our we have our big chocolate marble bowls that we did with our rose chocolate and our dark chocolate and so these are nice and pretty we're not going to fill these today but I just wanted to show you how they looked when they were done uh, but again these are something that I probably would not put on a dessert board only because of the size this is a size that you would serve one individual person at table setting for their dessert and fill it with 
fresh fruit. You can fill it with strawberries and cream, with sweetened whipped cream. Just, and uh, again, your imagination can go wild with that. So we're gonna put these aside since we're not putting them on our, our boards. Now I did uh, make some brownies. And one of the things that you can do with, if you, if you wanna make homemade brownies is you can, you can take a cutter and you can press the brownies out into different shapes and include them on your board. And again, this is a, a similar texture, see it has a nice little, um, nice little shape to it. Uh, as the torte caprese, so if you want to do just the brownies and not do the torte caprese, that's, that's perfectly fine. Uh, the, the torte caprese is a little bit different in texture and a little bit different in flavor profile, um, but again, this is your dessert board, you can do whatever you want. And if you want, you can make some ganache and let it cool and whip it and pipe a little rosette on top uh, and make it a little bit more decorative. Uh, or you can just take a little bit of powdered sugar and just dust the tops. And you can make it as fancy or as simple and homey as you want. This doesn't have to be an ostentatious kind of, of dessert board, but again, you can do very fancy. You can do simple homemade treats if you want, but just make it pretty. Invest in, in a couple of platters, whether like this is a melamine platter, it's not glass, and it didn't cost a whole lot, but it's really pretty and it's shiny and it looks like it costs a lot of money. So you can do a number of things uh, inexpensively on these dessert boards. So we've got our little um, cookie, uh, cookie cigars here, and we can just toss some around here and there. Um, you might want to toss a couple up here in between your... Um, in between your mousse cups and make it look a little bit, um, I don't know, out of this worldly kind of look to it and have it a more modern appearance to your boards. Again, um, it's your creation so you can do whatever you want. And we do have our shortbread cookies and I included these because normally in the bakery we dip these in ganache and then chopped chocolate, the chopped pecans rather. And so you can, you can just put a cookie right in there so that they know to dip. Um, you can lay them on the side. You can pre-dip them if you want and let the ganache set and serve them like that. But I think it's fun if, if people can interact with your dessert board and have a great time because that's what it's about. And I tell you, your family and your guests are really good. They're going to love this. They really will because how many times have you seen anybody do something like this with a chocolate board um, in a dessert board? So these are our little um, hazelnut cookies. I think I'm going to toss a few up here as well. And we're going to put some down here. There we go. And then, of course, we have our chocolate salami. And I like to have a special place for our chocolate salami because it is something that is very special and um, you're not going to see very often at all anywhere. So we want to be sure that we have something really special um, to put our salami on. And let me go get that platter and I will be right back. I went and, and got my crystal um, cake plate. I thought that would make a really nice presentation since the chocolate salami is so dark and it's clear so you'll be able to see it. So uh, what we want to do to cut this chocolate salami is get some warm tap water and put our knife in it and then we just want to dry it off just so it's heated, so it cuts through a little bit easier. It can be a little bit brittle, um, so not to worry. You can, if you need to, you can kind of press it together and you can just angle it and go ahead and dip and then we're gonna wipe again so we have a clean knife every time. And you're not gonna be able to cut the chocolate salami very thin, uh, only because of the nature of the, of the chocolate. Uh, this is a, like a candy. Now another thing, and another idea for your chocolate board, if you're into chocolate candy making, is to make truffles, which is just basically a, a ganache, a one-to-one -one ganache, meaning equal parts cream and chocolate. Let it cool until it's almost hard, and then you can roll it in little balls, and you can roll it in chopped nuts, or you can roll it in cocoa powder, uh, whatever you would like to do. I'm going to go ahead and set that aside. We don't want to forget about 
our chocolate amaretti. Remember, we've got a couple of gluten-free options for your guests or family members here. So we want to um, stack those. Now, if you want to also um, dust these with a little bit of powdered sugar, you know, make it a little bit different looking and not all chocolate, you can certainly do that. And you can stack maybe every other one as a, as a, as a dusted uh, cookie. Put this aside. So this is our wonderful chocolate dessert bar. And I think that your guests would absolutely love them. And uh, again, your imagination can just go crazy here. And we're gonna go ahead and, and cut into the torte caprese. And we can use our same serrated knife that we used before. Now, if you want to cut these in, like you do a regular pie or a regular cake, that's probably what I would do. I would just cut it in smaller pieces if you can. Let me show you how to cut a cake. Some people don't know how to cut a cake. So basically we're gonna cut completely through. We're gonna turn it and we're gonna cut it down the center again. And the top is gonna to crackle like that. That's what it's supposed to do. That's what makes this fun. Then we're gonna turn it again and we're gonna, if you want, probably cuts this size and you can mark it and go through all the way to the other side. This way all of your slices are even. And then we're gonna do the same thing here. So we're gonna do like a little bit of a quarter turn each time we turn and cut through so that uh, all of your guests get the same slice, same size slice. And you can use this technique of cutting also with your pies. You ever, you know, had somebody cut you a piece of pie and one slice is really big and one slice is really small, <laughs> wasn't even. This is an easy way to do it, kind of a math project here for the kids, have them cut it in uh, sections. So there is our completed cut and presented uh, chocolate dessert buffet with our fresh grilled fruits and our fresh strawberries and kiwi and all of our wonderful items here on the board, brownies and shortbreads and chocolate cigars and our mousse and our cho homemade chocolate cups. I hope you've enjoyed um, this episode and the last three episodes in building this beautiful array of chocolate goodness. This is Chef Deborah signing off from Roca's Bakery in Greensboro, North Carolina. Until next time, please visit us on our website at rocasbakery.com, our Facebook or Instagram page. Bon appetit.